Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c square plus c divided by c is equals to 16 and we solve this problem for all the values of c. So here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of given equation and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move toward the solution of first method and in the first method you see here this c is divided by both of these two terms. So we need to break uh, its fraction or in other words we just move the c to the right hand side and when we move the c to the right hand side it is multiplied by the 16 and it will be written as c square plus c is equals to 16 times of c so here we just find all the roots of this equation which is possible okay this equation is second order it means that this equation has two roots so we will find all that two roots of this equation and now here uh, in the next step we move this 16 c to the left hand side and it will be written as c square plus c minus 16 c and this whole equation is equals to zero and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is c square and this is c minus 16 c becomes here 15 c and this whole equation is equals to zero and now you see here both of these two terms involve c so that we will be take common c from here and when we take common c we get the remaining values are c minus 15 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c is equals to 0 and the second case is we write c minus 15 is equals to 0 so this is the first root of the given equation and from here we get the value of c is equals to 15 and this is the second root of the given equation so here uh, in this method we get these are the two roots of the given equation and now here in the ne next steps we need to verify that is both of these two uh, roots are solutions of the given equation or both of these two roots are extraneous root so for verification of these roots we need to copy down given question statement here it is c square plus c divided by c is equals to 16 so here uh, for verification here uh, in this side we will be verify c is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify c is equals to 15 so when you put it c equals to 0 into the left hand side and it will be written as so we have and you put it here it will becomes 0 square plus 0 divided by 0 is equals to 16 or not this is the our claim so you see here 0 square becomes 0 plus 0 divided by 0 equals to 16 and this will becomes here 0 over 0 form equals to 16 and you very well know about that 0 over 0 form is usually called that it is the indeterminate form or in other words we just call that it is undefined form so if our left hand side is undefined form it means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal this means that the value of c is equals to zero is not satisfied our given question statement so we call that c is equals to zero be the extraneous root of the given equation because it does not satisfy our given question statement and now here we move towards our second root and now here we substitute c equals to 15 into the left hand side and we check its behavior and it will becomes 15 square plus 15 divided by 15 is equals to 6 and here we check that is both of the sides are equal or not so here we take common 15 from numerator side and it will becomes here 15 plus 1 divided by 15 and it is equals to 16 so this 15 is cancelled out by this 15 and we will get here 15 plus 1 becomes 16 equals to 16 so here you see that 
both of the sides are equal it means that the value of c is equal to 15 is satisfied our given question statement so we finally conclude about the solution set of this question is c is equals to 15. so this is the only one solution of the given equation and c equals to 0 be the extraneous root so this is the final conclusion of first method and now here we again solve this problem for second method so in second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is c square plus c divided by c is equals to 16. so this is our given question statement and here uh, we use different technique to find the roots of this equation so here we just first break this fraction and it will be written as c square divided by c plus c divided by c is equals to 16 and this implies that uh, from here we have this c is cancelled out by this c and here we get c only plus this c is cancelled out by this c and we will get here one only and this whole equation is equals to 16. And now here in the next step we need to move this plus one to the right hand side and it will be written as c is equals to 16 minus 1 and this implies that 16 minus 1 is equals to 15 okay so here uh, in the second method we will get here only one root of the given equation and that is c is equals to 15 and in the first method we already verified that c equals to 15 is satisfied our given question statement uh, so we just conclude about that uh, the solution set of this question is c is equals to 15 so this is our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos